My name is Sirka Horvat and I work as a director of operations for manufacturing in ZF Aftermarket. So we are in ZF Friedland. This factory has been established in 1999. We have more than uh, 370 people at the moment and we are uh, remanufacturing and manufacturing components for automotive. It's absolutely fascinating world and especially with the variability of the products we see here and the remanufacturing world because that is unique, you know. Building the new from the old with smart solutions, sustainability on top, environmentally friendly. The remanufacturing process is a closed loop, but let us start with the core return process. Core return is where we receive the old parts, used parts back from the market. The first step of that is that we check the core. In principle, the core should not be intentionally damaged. If it passes the core acceptance criteria, it goes to core identification, where we recognize each individual part number. After that, we move the process to disassembly, which is the first process of the real remanufacturing process. After this assembly, the products are going for cleaning. It can be a continuous wash machine, it can be blasters. So it's different processes which fit different product families. The process is then continuing to assembly, where we basically assemble the parts together. So we do remanufacture here mainly safety parts, be it the braking systems or the steering systems. Those are critical parts in the cars and they can save lives. So for us, of course, safety is always on the first place and we would never compromise the quality of our products which we sell to the market. And if the product is passing all of that and we are sure about its security, we will uh, mark it and then we will put it in the box and then the product is ready for our customers. What we can see now is a move in the technology and it's moving from the mechanical parts into the mechatronics and also remanufacturing of electronics. That is where we see even more investment into our skills and equipment into the future. For me, fascinating about remanufacturing is how can you build a brand new shiny product which fulfills perfectly the function out of something which looks really dirty and completely unusable at the beginning. 